welcome back to Book Talking, where I help you find your next read. My name is Lauren, and this week I have five books for new and emerging readers. First up this week, we have I Can Help by Peggy Perry Anderson. This story is about a cute little frog who is eager to help their parents on a day full of errands and household chores, from sending something in the mail to shopping for groceries and taking out the garbage. Little Frog wants to help. This is from the Joe the Frog series, and it's a great choice for new readers because each sentence begins with I can, so there's lots of repetition. There's also rhyming words and rhythm to the sentences. The pictures, of course, also give young readers clues to help tell the story. For fans of froggy stories and animals that have jobs, like Miss Turtle the Babysitter by Valerie Gorbachev, this is I Can Help. Next up, we have Norman the Naughty Knight and the Flying Horse by Smriti Prasadam Halls, illustrated by Ian Smith. This is Norman, and he lives at Creaky Castle, and they're hosting an upcoming jousting tournament. Now, Norman is not in the tournament, but that doesn't stop him from telling some silly and tall tales about his jousting abilities. When he gets a little too carried away, his pet dragon, Doris, sits on him to bring him back to reality. But now it's the day of the competition and someone has dropped out, meaning Norman is going to take their place. So will his tales of his jousting abilities come back to haunt him, or will he be able to prevail over his competitors with a little help? You'll have to read the story to find out. This is a fun and silly story. It's action-packed and perfect for young children who are growing in their confidence as young readers and are ready for a slightly longer story. There are also tips for parents and caregivers in this book, so when you're reading together, you can be encouraging your child and ask them questions when they're done. If your young reader likes medieval stories like Night Owls by Eric Seltzer, check out Norman the Naughty Knight and the Flying Horse. Our third book this week is Rocket Out of the Park by Andrea Cascardi. So Dot and her mom are at the creative fair. There are lots of art and science projects going on, and Dot's mom shows her and her friends how to make fizz-powered rockets. Everyone has their own ideas about how they want to decorate the rocket, what they want it to sound like, but Dot seems way too focused on building the fastest rocket that will go super far. But is that the only thing that matters, or is there more than one way to build a rocket? This is a great STEM story. It has four short chapters, an engaging plot, and familiar as well as some new vocabulary. I also like the bright colors and diverse characters in this book. For fans of stories about young inventors like The Most Magnificent Thing by Ashley Spires, this is Rocket Out of the Park. Next up we have Wallace and Grace Take the Case by Heather Alexander, illustrated by Laura Zarin. Wallace and Grace are owls, they're best friends and partners at the Night Owl Detective Agency. They look for clues and solve mysteries. So when Edgar the Rabbit says he's seen a ghost in the garden, Wallace and Grace waste no time getting to the bottom of this spooky mystery. This is a great choice for young readers looking for their first chapter book. It's a bit longer. There are still full page and small illustrations to help move the story along. And there is another Wallace and Grace book in this series, so if you like this one, you can also check that out. If you know of a young reader who's ready for their first chapter book and enjoys mystery stories that involve animals, like King and Kayla and the Case of the Missing Dog Treats by Dory Butler, check out Wallace and Grace Take the Case. And our last book this week is Zoe and Sassafras, Dragons and Marshmallows, story by Asia Citro, illustrated by Marion Lindsay. When Zoe sees a glowing photograph in her mom's office, her mom, who's a scientist, lets her in on a secret about magical animals and the barn in their backyard. Now that her mom has to go away for a conference for a week, Zoe is left to care for any sick or injured animals that might show up in their backyard barn. Sure enough, a few days later, a baby dragon shows up and Zoe must figure out how to care for the little creature with some help from her trusty cat, Sassafras. 
This is a fun story combining fantasy, magic, science, and a bit of mystery. Sure to please young readers who are just getting into chapter books, there are illustrations on almost every page, clear language, as well as a glossary at the back of the book for new science and animal-related terminology. This is the first book in the Zoe and Sassafras series, and I'm definitely going to check out more because this book was so great. For fans of stories about young girls who invent and conduct science experiments, like the Frankie Sparks series by Megan Fraser Blakemore, this is Dragons and Marshmallows. Thank you so much for joining me this week. You can check out all of these great books for young readers and so much more at Aurora Public Library. We hope to see you soon. Happy reading.